Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, you know, have you ever thought about uh, how do we bring Revit back into its original form, into its factory settings? I mean, you know, when you have um, projects that are very dense and uh, there are a lot of components and objects involved and you're continuously making families and nesting families and then you're loading them into your projects, sometimes you press commands that shouldn't be pressed or you mistakenly press it and then you mess up your overall interface, all right? You mess up your overall ribbons and things start going missing from your left and your right. And you want to bring things back into its original form. So how do you do that? And, uh, you know, I even use this method inside my office. I mean, for example, if uh, I'm changing systems or from I'm changing computers from one place to another. So I don't want templates and colors and settings and units from other users. I want them to be my own. So I just factory reset my Revit and then I open up my file. So, for example, in this case, as you guys can see, we have our, our properties uh, missing and we have our project, the browsers on the right side missing and we have our elevations missing. So although if uh, you have good enough knowledge of Revit and you want to solve it manually, you can do that. But there's even uh, an easy and a shorter way of doing that. Uh, we can even make our elevation right here and then we can just rename it to our east. So another way of bringing Revit back is deleting your profile folder from your C drive, all right? So let's go to the My Computer or this PC, whatever you want to call it, and let's go to our C drive. From here, we go to the users. We go, go into the folder that you've made, go to your app data go to roaming and uh, I, I'm gonna write down this path for you so that it's easier for you to follow go to your Autodesk from Autodesk you simply go to Revit and this folder right here is your main settings or your main uh, you know the settings that you're working on this is the folder if you want to bring Revit back into its original factory form you the only thing you have to do is you have to delete this folder so let's close Revit from from here which is all messed up and things are missing so you just simply delete this folder and you don't want to delete your profile because that's the main you know, you know the email that you've logged in so now we, once we delete this folder and we restart Revit back again another factory folder is going to be made this time when you open Revit so it's going to open in its original form and everything is going to be present there so I hope you guys you know you uh, you use this method. I do a lot. If you want to bring, um, if you if you messed up your Revit software, and it, of course it's not because of the software. It's because of the user. Um, because this is simply a programmed software. It's going to do whatever you tell it to do. So make sure you learn something from this video and make sure you use this method when you want to bring your Revit into its factory form. Now Revit is opened, and if we go to our architectural template. So now everything is back into uh, the original form and, and a, a folder is automatically created right here, which is your main settings. Now our properties and our project browser and our elevations, everything is back. So I hope you guys um, learned something from this video.